very good chance if I took the NCLEX today, I would pass. I'm doing excellent, guys. Hey, everyone. So I start back my last term of nursing school. Uh, it starts Monday, but they've already opened up the courses. So really, it's already started because you can start on your homework assignments and start studying right now. And one of the assignments for the very first week of school was to take a computer adaptive test to see how you would do on the NCLEX. And we did this through Nurse Achieve. Nurse Achieve has computer adaptive test NCLEX RN, like the old style, the kind that's going on right now. And then they have another one for the next gen NCLEX RN. And they told us to take the old style one, I think because they want us to take the new style one at the end of the semester and there's only so many questions. So if you keep taking them over and over, you're gonna start seeing some of the same questions again, at least a little bit. So I think that's why they told us to take the old version. But anyways, long story short, I already took the old version because I was like way ready to see how I would do on that. And you can get a failed, a pass slightly, a pass pass, and a pass solid pass. I thought, I took it, I got a pass pass. I actually thought that was the highest you could get. I was like, I got the highest score, pass pass. But then I was looking, no, I could have got a pass solid. And that means you you tested well above the NCLEX testing standards. So I didn't get that, but I got a pass pass, which means there's a very good chance if I took the NCLEX today, I would pass. That was like just a huge relief. Now, backing up a little bit more, before I took that test, I did go on to simplenursing.com. I know I talk about Simple Nursing and Nurse Mike's YouTube channel all the time because his videos are really helpful. They always talk about, you know, go to our website for free, whatever. So I went to the website and their free is pretty small. It's 48 hours of free access. That's pretty small, guys, but I recommend you do it when you get closer to the end of nursing school because they have unlimited computer adaptive assessments is what they say on it. And I took four of them. It's more glitchy than Nurse Achieve. It had, um, it had questions where I had to input a number and when I went back to see my grade, it thought I put in zero several times. And I don't know why it wasn't seeing the numbers I put in. Also, it had some questions where it gave you choices of pictures and I really couldn't tell what the pictures were. Like, there was a person talking to another person and I was supposed to know that that was a nurse performing an assessment or discharge planning. I forget what. But it was like, I didn't know what that picture was. And it's a little more glitchy. They need some more people to edit their program. But that said, I took four tests with them Three of them it said I scored above average. One of them it said I scored below average. The weird thing is, for each one it said, how ready are you to take the NCLEX? For three of them it said, you're ready to crush this test. For one of them it had a cartoon of Nurse Mike crying saying you need to study some more. But the funny thing is, one of them that said I needed to study some more actually gave me an above average score. One of them that said, you're ready to crush this test, that's the one I got the below average score. I don't quite understand Simple Nursing's algorithms for how they're deciding if you're ready to crush the test or if you need to study some more because it's not just related to the percent of questions you get right or wrong. Both were helpful. Both broke down exactly uh, what areas I did best and worst in. I don't really need to study psychosocial integrity, which my first degree in human services, which is like counseling psychology would explain that one. But it told you like where your weak and strong points were. Those five assessments made me feel very confident about I have four more months till I take the NCLEX at least because I have three and a half months till I graduate or till I'm finished with classes. And then it usually takes uh, about a month to schedule the NCLEX. You have to get permission to schedule it. So I'm not gonna stop studying and I'm already getting pass pass and three out of four simple nursing assessments saying you're ready to take this test. So that was fun. And I'm realizing there's a lot of computer adaptive free testing online, especially if you'll just do free trials. 
And if you do free trials, you don't have to pay for them. And if I paid for Simple Nursing's thing, it's kind of expensive. I think it was like $200 for three months. But if I paid for it, there's only so many questions and you would start to see repeats. As a matter of fact, in the four assessments I took, I was seeing some repeat questions on Simple Nursing. So I recommend get free trials and make use of them. The Simple Nursing free trial, it is 48 hours. So get the free trial when you know you have you know, a lot of time in the next 48 hours to take the practice test. That was just a good encouragement. And Nurse Achieve and Simple Nursing both had good rationales afterwards that were explaining things. I like Nurse Achieve's a little bit better. Simple Nursing sometimes has videos for some of the studying, but on the computer adaptive testing, when I went over the rationales, I didn't see it linking to videos then. And the videos, I really think, are pretty much what you see. You can see them on YouTube. And the YouTube ones are better. Like, they're more animated, more graphics. Just sometimes I think his videos on the paid thing is him just literally stopping and explaining one question. Which I've noticed, if you subscribe, like, YouTube shorts and stuff, Simple Nursing does questions all the time on there, practicing flex questions, and explains the rationale. So... I guess what I'm saying is get access to testing. Get whether it's listening on YouTube to NCLEX questions and answers and rationales with there's nursing channels that do that. Whether it's signing up for a free trial of simple nursing, whether it's signing up for free trials, there's lots of free trials of programs that want to sell you computer adaptive testing, I think. And as I do more of them, I will share them with you. But I've done Nurse Achieve, which was not free. I had to pay for it with school. And I did Simple Nursing, and I am just going into this last semester, you know, a lot more ready and focused. Like, it seems even closer now that I've got some of those scores. And you know, if you take them and you get bad scores, it will tell you what to focus on so that you're not just trying to focus on everything. Because maybe you'll see, oh, this area I'm doing great in. I need to stop paying so much attention to, you know, reading carefully that content and spend more time on like EKGs. I don't, I need to learn EKGs a lot. Um, but that's something we're going over this semester. So anyways, that's just an update. I want to tell you I've been doing computer adaptive testing. I'm working Monday, Wednesday, Friday, crazy early mornings teaching for my Play Talk Grow classes. So today's a Friday. I got up a little before 3 a.m taught 320 to 710 a.m. I just took Emily, our second youngest, to school. Now I'm headed back home. I'm gonna pick up my son Corey, take him to an endodontist appointment all the way in St. Louis. And of course they could only do it on a day at school, but that's fine. So he doesn't have school today. Then hopefully we get home in time to go back to pick up Emily. Otherwise Chris is gonna have to pick up Emily with Raylan in the van. And then we're having family and maybe some friends over tonight for movie night. So we have, sorry, this is turn. We have a fun, busy day. I am sure I will crash at the end of the day though because, yeah. I did get seven hours of sleep last night. So even though I got up really early, I went to bed early. Seven hours of sleep. So I'm ready to drive, 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 drive today. That's it. Do some computer adaptive testing. If you know where you can get free computer adaptive testing, like, link below. And also, my pass pass score, I think I got 60% right, guys. If you're taking, if you're doing NCLEX level questions, a variety of NCLEX level questions, and you're getting 60% of them right, you're doing excellent, guys. You're doing excellent in my opinion. that's Those are passing scores. This is not like an exam for school where you have to get at least 76% to pass. The NCLEX, they don't expect you to get 76%. They expect you to get, excuse me, I think it's just like basically more than half the questions. There are low level, medium level, and high level questions. Uh, simple nursing didn't tell me what level of question I was answering, but Nurse Achieve, when I went back to review, did tell me this is a higher level question, this is a medium level question, this is a lower level question. Lower level, 
doesn't necessarily mean it's easy. It just means it doesn't require a lot of nursing judgment. It's just you either know it or you don't know it. It's things that you would just, it's just facts you memorize. And you've memorized those facts or you haven't. Um, higher level questions are things where you just have to consider more and think through that specific scenario. So that's the difference in that. Um, I mean, I did get way more lower level questions right than the higher level questions, but the lower level questions I got wrong. One of them was about Purkinje fibers in the heart. One of them was about Lupralon. I'm saying that name wrong, but it was a drug and its specific side effects. Uh, and I forget what the other low level question was, but Purkinje fibers, Lupralon, not gonna know that. But now we're off to the endodontist.